Hello children, how are you all? I am sure you must have done your Remember, homework. You were supposed to name two solids whose shape can be changed by applying force. Now the solids are rubber band or spring which elongates when stretched or the chapati door. Uh, in our last session we learned about solids. Today we are going to start with liquids. In case of liquids, the particles are not closely packed. They are free to move. So, they do not have a fixed shape. They can easily flow and take the shape of the container. They also occupy space. Since liquids can flow easily, they are called fluids. Some examples of liquids are water, milk, juice and oil. In case of gases, the particles are very loosely packed. They do not have a fixed shape. Some examples of gases are oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor that is steam. Now when we talk about gases next question which comes to our mind is what is air? Air is a mixture of many gases such as oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. Now it has a combination of say 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% carbon dioxide and other gases. Now carbon dioxide is needed by plants. As we all know plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen and oxygen is needed by human beings and animals for their survival. So children, did you know both liquids and gases flow and are called fluids but liquids occupy a fixed amount of space in a container whereas gases occupy all the space available in a container. So children, Let's have a fast recap of what we learned in our session 1 and session 2. We learned about states of matter in which we learn what is matter, mass. We learned the arrangement of particles differs for solids, liquid and gas. We learned about solids, its properties. Then we learned about liquids and gases. Dear children, there is a very interesting homework for you. First one, can you name any two things in which you fill gas? Now second is this sheet in which you can see three pictures. From this, you have to identify the state of matter for each of the following arrangement of particles. And below that, B section, give two examples for the following, solids, liquids and gases. Children, hope everything is clear to you. We will meet again in the next session. Till then, keep learning. Bye.